Hi, sewing friends. My name is Alice Murray, and you are at my channel, Mermaid Designs. Welcome. This is a channel where I attempt to inspire you to sew. And how do I do that? I do it by sewing. I try to post something every single day at 7 a.m., uh, a garment or some other thing I've made. I uh, Last week, we did a bunch of tutorials with hair ribbons and whatnot, and so that was kind of fun kind of a change but uh, usually it is garments and usually they are something I'm wearing but this week I'm calling it sewing for my fella and it is all garments that I have made for my husband who is a very fine fella and today what I want to show you is Simplicity 9128 and I showed you this earlier in the week. I made him the pants, the pajama pants. I did take some of the um, extra out of the legs. He wanted he wants it, them to be a little, uh, you know, more like, um, you know, jogging pants rather than pajama pants. So, uh, lounging pants. I don't know what, what would you call them? Uh, so yes, so that's so now what I'm doing is I am making uh, showing you these raglan uh, t-shirt that is in here and It took me two attempts Is what I'm going to tell you to start with I'm wearing my own raglan t-shirt and a shout out to these raglan t-shirts um, so uh, I made the one from the pattern and the neckline way too big way too big and the sleeves, he has very long arms, too short. And it was actually just maybe a little bit short overall. So I tried again. And I made the sleeves about four inches longer. He's six foot one and he's got really long arms. So I uh, made the sleeves four inches longer and probably added another two inches to the bottom. And I cut about this much out of the neck band. And it worked perfectly fine after that. Um, I can see I have a little pucker in the uh, neck band and uh, I talked earlier this week about how to make uh, a neck band. Uh, one thing I didn't say which is very important is at, pin it in like I explained how I pin it in but as you sew it so slowly stretch it uh, smooth out the t-shirt, turn the t-shirt with you as you go, uh, smooth, 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 and um, because the trick is to get it in without getting any puckers in it, which I did not do, but hopefully no one else will notice. I didn't get any puckers in this one, but it's just too big. Uh, I finished the sleeves with a zigzag stitch. So that there is a little bit of give in the sleeves and I also finish the hem. I serge it and then zigzag it. Uh, I know, so in my grateful thread today, I this he tried it on, it wasn't perfect. I know he will still wear it. That he'll put it on under his coveralls. It's made out of uh, cotton jersey so it is safe to wear to work. I know he'll wear it. Um, I was the one that was unhappy with it, not him. Uh, but this one definitely fits him better. So I'm glad that even though I messed up, I know that, uh, well, I didn't really mess up. I just, well, I could have measured him more, I guess, before I started. But even though this isn't perfect, I know he will still wear it. And I'm grateful for that because uh, it would have been a shame to waste it. So anyways, I hope that these videos are inspiring you to sew and that you are sewing because sewing is so much fun, even if you mess up a little bit. See you again tomorrow.